Welcome to the Dream Jewels channel where I'm going to explain some of the things that you need to do uh, and have while you're making a video. It's what I do, not necessarily what you should do. Um, you can use many things to make a video and as I've explained later on in the video already the, you can do it with a cell phone and you can do all sorts of things. But this is what I've chosen to do to make uh, some of the videos that I make and I enjoy using this equipment as well. It's got many parts to it. Uh, in fact, uh, the taking of the videos I believe is the easy part and you do have to uh, put all of this together in some sort of order which it does help to draw it out almost on a little storyboard I've got one down here in front of me at the moment which is just being scrolled uh, uh, down in very almost like shorthand to give me a clue as to what the heck I should be doing and uh, it does work by doing that why do we do this? Well, we make movies, I make movies, so people can enjoy what I see. And I do hope, truthfully, that uh, people enjoy what I do. We also do it to gain subscribers. Now, subscribing to somebody's channel is quite important because if you like their videos, if you subscribe, you get a, uh, a little notification uh, through the email or text, however you've got your Google set up. And uh, it says, oh, Dream Jewels has just put a new video out and might give you the title of that video as well, which is quite useful if you've been looking forward to seeing it and it makes sure that uh, you don't miss anything. Click it in the little bell icon, which is not far away from the subscribe button then that means that you will get that notification definitely and also if you do enjoy it it's nice to have a like we all know that if we do something and it's for somebody else and other people are looking at it that they enjoy it and just taking the time just a second to click that like button or dislike it depends on how you feel it's entirely over to you we can't take them off we can't put them on either so it is how you feel and in the comments below you can write hi i didn't like your video because or i liked your video because and uh, make a comment or ask a question if you're unsure about something. I've had videos saying, uh, or questions saying, what do you use to take your pictures with? And this has prompted me to make this video. So while I still answered the question on the uh, YouTube video, I thought this would be a good little subject just to show you how I do it. There's lots of them around, it's nothing special, that's for sure. Now, what else have I got down here? Well, that's really all I do have. Encouragement, we give it to our children. YouTube creators all over the world enjoy encouragement as well. It does keep them going and should one be lucky enough to gain enough subscribers eventually when I get to a thousand <laughs> not much like I've got 93 I think at the moment which is not too bad for me but if you get up to a thousand you can monetize your videos as you probably know and receive a small amount from the advertising that is placed in them this is quite useful and it does help YouTube creators to earn just a little bit so they can buy all of the equipment that you're going to see and more. Uh, there are some uh, channels like uh, Free Range Sailing and Delos and lots of other channels that they rely on Patreon uh, and YouTube uh, money 
to be able to continue with their hobby. Well, this is just a hobby to me, and I'm not in it to make millions, not that I ever will, but you never know. One of these days when I'm just about dead and gone, it may have earned $10, who knows? Anyway, without any further ado, I think we'll go straight now on to how we put all of this together and show you some of the equipment that I choose to use. Thank you for listening. This is the Sony HDR AS300. Very small, very light and easy to work. All the settings come up on the side screen. It's got quite a decent sort of little lens in there which has got the stabilization that you need. The side wall, there's the battery inside there in a sealed area, I might say, and underneath you have where the SD card goes and of course a tripod fixing area as well. In the back we have the USB-C and a mini HDMI and also the lock for the uh, battery case. Very simple to use indeed, and as you can see from the size of my hand, it's very, very small, but very versatile as well. Comes with that uh, is a, an underwater case, which uh, strips down. You slot the camera inside and seal it, and I've used this to great effect. And once again, that can be connected to a uh, tripod which then you can put outside and you could leave it in the rain taking photographs for a long time and it's operated from the top which just means pressing down the button to start and stop the camera it's very useful indeed another very useful tool that you really should have with the uh, cameras is a mini tripod. This is a Manfrotto which uh, is very very simple to adjust by pressing the button then we can move that to wherever we need to go and screw it in so you can point it up at the sky do whatever you need to do and it also folds up into quite a handy little useful thing I think uh, where you can leave your camera on the top and uh, just move it around holding the camera nice and steady. Quite cheap, but very effective. This is a combination that I use quite a lot. Having the cell phone uh, up on the top, you can either use the cell phone camera, of course, or you can connect the Image Edge app direct to the Sony cameras and see the, uh, what the camera sees on your cell phone, obviously a lot larger than what you would see through the viewfinder, and you can control it from there as well. And when you link that to the Sony, well then you have the Sony camera sitting out the front, which you can move whichever way around you would like it, and uh, so on. It makes it very, very simple to uh, to operate and very accurate in pointing as well so and it's the pistol grip underneath so you can grip it quite well and carry it around and point and shoot which is the whole idea I think of what we do uh, on the YouTube channel we're pointing a camera and shooting it let's make it as simple as possible another useful item is the shotgun microphone and this little fellow here is uh, very easy to mount it's got a cold shoe and you can mount it on the upside or the downside of the cameras talk into it and it does have a small cord going to the 3.5 millimeter jack which uh, you can plug into uh, the cameras, uh, whatever you need to do. It's rather a useful tool uh, adding to your little armament of bits and pieces. Bearing in mind that most of the cameras, uh, the Sony camera and the HDS, uh, HDR3 
hundred uh, have microphones that face forward so this one can be turned round back towards you so it picks up your voice very very clearly if you happen to be doing a scene and you want to explain it that's where this one would come in very handy indeed now as you can see I'm looking at the uh, cell phone and it has the image app going and so we can see uh, my hands moving there and we can see the phone is working very well I'm going to show you the latest addition to my arsenal of cameras and it is the Sony HDR CX625 now this camera is very very good indeed it's I'll be showing you some of the zooming capabilities of this camera it has a built-in lens uh, um, cover which is very very useful indeed and it's, of course it's got an SD card built into the or not built in but um, in the base of the camera few very very simple controls and the touch screen on the side here which you can see my fingers now in the background let's get those out of the way very simple very easy to use and for blogging it is rather useful that you can turn the screen right round and let's point that in and I can see myself now uh, taking a picture of myself oh ugly yes okay but that is really how it's done and you can mount that on a tripod point it towards you and away you go the cost well you can pay for a, a relatively cheap model very similar to this about three hundred and fifty dollars or you can pay a little bit more this was uh, uh, quite a bit more I suppose and uh, get more features depends on exactly where you want to go of course you don't have to have a camera you can have if you wish just a cell phone and do it all off your cell phone and use Windows Windows um, Movie Maker it doesn't cost any more to do that but having a little camera around and especially to be able to do telephoto work on the, using the zoom this one's got a 30 times optical zoom but it does zoom out to 350 times which if you go beyond that you can't hold the camera steady enough which is always a bit of a problem so once again a small uh, tripod like this one or a larger photographic one depending on what your needs are is definitely well worth the extra money and you can buy them overseas for around oh, five seven seven dollars if you go to fast tech they've got a very cheap one on there or AliExpress even you can buy them for eight or ten dollars US and it's very good you have to do wait for them a little while but it's always worthwhile the wait as we will find later on you will need of course a computer you can do editing on your phone but a computer makes it very simple and I think more enjoyable um, I have a wee sound desk here because I do quite a lot of work with music and have something like 38,000 plus tracks available to me uh, to do work with I've got two drives on the right hand side one is a three terabyte and the other one is a two terabyte your forms do take up quite a lot of space if you want to save them and therefore extension drives are really a must for security as well as just storage and on the side here I have the mainframe of the computer it has an excellent graphic card 8 gigabytes of RAM 
and some pretty blue lights which do absolutely nothing on the fans but they make it look quite nice I suppose don't know sometimes I do use uh, the 10 inch tablet um, for a screen when I find doing some close work and that does enable me to see exactly what I'm doing in a really good size well here we are back on the computer and I want to explain to you a program that I use a lot of uh, in making movies it's called power director and it comes in uh, a download and you can get a free download for power director I don't know how long you can use it for but I don't think it's fully functional until you've paid for it but you may be able to use it for a short time at least it has an audio director in it which is a very good music uh, program that is linked directly into the main program of power director it's done automatically when you do the installation the screen recorder I'm using that right now and the wave editor is just as simple as it says wave editor you can make the music louder or softer or cut a piece out of it as well so we'll start by opening audio um, power director i'm on power director 16 which is a tremendous program you start off with a page very similar to this and it's very very useful we can put in uh, movies uh, let's get a, a, a media file so we can see what uh, we're looking at and we'll go into um, let me see now where are we new handy cam new camera um, how to video I know there's some music in there we'll go into new camera and we'll select a piece of movie stuff which is there and that one there I think so those two open and here we are to make a movie it's you get all of this area here can be full of movies and as you put them into the line they click into each other like that now to make this seamless and to look better we use transitions and I use this fade quite a lot and so we'll just put the fade into there now that means that we'll be able to see the movie and listen to whatever it is now the sound on here is not particularly good so what we'll do is we can unlink the that video we can take the sound part of it off and do the same to that one and highlight and remove all very very simple now we can go back to the beginning and play the video now of course we don't want to see it necessarily in that size but if we want to see it in full screen it's only a matter of doing that and pressing the play button and that's it but hang on we haven't got any music let's stop that we'll go back and we'll get some music in um, let me see now we've got to go back up there go into there import media files we'll go up and royalty free music as we've talked about is the best one to uh, use but you can use any music that you like so we'll use this one here it seems to be the first so we'll just open that in it comes and we'll put that down into the bottom now we'll go and have a look at the movie that we've just created in a matter of seconds and that's really what 
what it's all about. We'll finish that there because I think you might see this uh, or seen it earlier on. But that's how simple it is to make the movie and then you just keep adding the bits and pieces. If you want to put some sound in, you can click into the capture area and there in the capture area we can either add uh, um, a video camera, we can add sound and here we're going to add some sound we'll have uh, yeah let's just do this right now so we'll go in to one and record now this is recording a sound clip for any person's movie we'll stop it there and it will make uh, a capture that capture will go into your little line and Double record. Click. Now this is recording a sound clip for any person's movie. So okay we've collated that now we can go back to edit and that sound clip will be put in and we can add that in to say there and it won't play I'll take the music out because if we leave the music in at that level you won't hear it and record now this is recording a sound clip for any person's movie so that's how easy making movies on here is they that transition that you saw would look like this just nice and smooth and it goes out and there you go well that's all I've got for you in this particular area it's uh, Cyberlink Power Direct well thank you very much indeed for watching the video it's been a bit long I'm sorry but uh, I didn't know quite how to cut everything out I'm not perfect and I don't make perfect movies, uh, very very few people actually do but we enjoy doing what we do anyway. So if you've gained something from it or you would like to know more about anything that you've seen in the video, please leave a message for me in the box below and uh, I will answer you to the best of my ability. So for now enjoy making those movies. Goodbye!